Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Knights of the Old Republic 2. What you got over here, buddy? Ooh, foot locker. Free, free freebies. Med packs, both of them, only one of that. Not taxi service, but what do you want? What are you doing on Tantooine? Speedy, please don't step on the keyboard right now, please. Let me put this up here. Now, come on. Come on over here. Come on, bud. Just need to lay down. They can. Let's see. Without, let's see. The ecosphere is balanced a lot. Okay, well, what? It's going to be corrected. Okay, so we're doing a thing. Alright. Why are you anxious to leave? Stop speeding, please. God dang it, cat! Sorry if my mouse is jumping around, but the uh, cat is not letting me use my mouse right. So I'm controlling the game with the mouse. I can't use the keyboard because it's getting upset. Sorry if it's jumping around. It's being a butt. Butt cat. Free money. Bet. Just leave money laying around. Locked. Atten. I hear you. That sucker. Me, get out of the way, me. Damn thing's stuck. Uh, impossible. Not with this. Damn thing's stuck. I'll just leave this right here. Right back up. What's this dude with the thing and the stuff? It's just kind of laying here all busted. What you got, Tarn? Uh huh. Yeah, I got a lifesaver. A Jedi. I've got to tell the others. Uh, what do you got against Jedi, dude? Uh, leave me be, Jedi. Boy. All right. So everybody's being all pissy pants. Maybe I should have come here first, but eh, never. Bless you. It's a big one. Back up. Get you 
All that for that, huh? No weapons, no armor. Sell computer spikes. Security tumblers. Oh, an HK control cluster. Boy. You're alright, buddy. You had a part for my HK. You gotta get 47 back up and running because uh, H47 is gonna make sure keeping a cramp on stuff. Alright, let's not worry about running around and doing too much exploring. Let's just talk to folks and do things. I hear you. You're up. Oh, it's just locked on. Now, I wonder if my uh, lightsaber would be really good at, like, opening things. The door is locked. Hey, get away from that door. The last time somebody messed with it, it was locked down for months before we could fix it. Well, uh, I got Bowder I can bring over here and pop that sucker open for you. Don't Just say the word. Repair. Oh yeah, you have no repair. No, I don't know for sure I don't. Man, that's a negative one. <laughs> I just look at things and they break. Old boy. Oh, it's you. You'll find a little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. Alright, gone. Uh, Don't cause any more trouble for Dantooine. Had enough of it for a lifetime. Oh, I'm just getting walked up. Looks like there might be something over here. A quick little river. So this being an oh, like an Xbox-based game, the water effects are actually fairly good. That's one thing the old Xbox had over much of its competition was that it's uh the uh, water effects it can crank out were just absurdly good for the time. It was like early two thousands. That, that freaking console was freaking. I think Tarn has finally cracked. Running around like a madman, raving that he was being chased by a Jedi. Oh, Tarn is an idiot, to be sure. But he seemed genuinely frightened. Perhaps he did see something. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They would dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant. And never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. Hello! My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Hello! I'm right here. You want to say that again? Yeah, it's a lightsaber. You want to say that again? I didn't think so. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Oh, well, where's the Administrator? Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. Uh, what do you have in The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. 
Akeri is still around here somewhere too. He sells droid components. So I guess you come here before you have the lightsaber. Everybody thinks you're just a salvager. Okay. Well, why would I? Um, where can I find the weapon shop? Just go to the central corridor and make a right. His shop is the first on the right. Cool. Why would I need to see Zarin? If you get into any trouble, he's the person you'd contact. Unfortunately, recent problems with the salvagers and mercenaries have kept him quite busy. What kind of problem? The mercenaries cause disruptions for some of our outlying settlers. They are a constant source of friction for us. I hear the salvagers are having some internal problems too. There's plenty to do here. Uh, could you go to more detail? No, I couldn't. If you're really interested in that, just speak to Zeron. Jeez, excuse me. Certainly. What do you want to know? Why does everyone think I'm a salvager? You're not. The only heavily armed people that visit us are either salvages or mercenaries. And you don't look quite gritty enough to be a mercenary. Alright. Okay. Pretentious prick. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Why not? Moon is like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Well, what's going on? Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. They stole your equipment? Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrics came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. I went to their camp to get back my moisture evaporator. This smug fellow Joran told me that he found it within the ruins, and by law, it belongs to him now. He said he'd give it to me for a bargain price of 500 credits. I wasn't very happy about it, but the law was on his side. So I paid the scoundrel. Now the moisture evaporator doesn't work because it is mysteriously missing its modulator. Joran is offering to sell me a modulator he found for another 500 credits. What can I do to help? I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to the salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. Where is the salvage camp? It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. I'll see what I can do. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. Thieves will not be tolerated. They shall taste my blades. A lot of people here hate Jedi. Yeah, no, when they were not. here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. Okay, who the is Garavik? Oh, sorry. If you're brand new to these parts, you may not have any issues with Garavik, unlike most everyone else. Well, who is you're he? You're fortunate not to know him. He's a salvager. His purpose in life seems to be causing us headaches. I can tell he's back in Kunda just by the pounding in my head. If you're not here about Garavik, do you have some other problem? He could be my problem. Are you? Well, call me a defective protocol droid. Manners, right. I'm Baroon Modril. I'm Captain Zeron's right-hand man. I help run the militia here. Well, that makes it sound more important than I am. Zeron takes a hands-on role in running the militia. If you have any real trouble, you'd have to go to him anyway. Isn't being hands-on a good thing? Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. 
Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing, but the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. Yeah, you can make the mercenaries work for me, because I'm a war vet. Now they don't listen to me. Ha ha! Well, can't someone do anything about it's it? It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I I'm not sure. Just a guess. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us, well, then maybe he should be replaced. Well, wouldn't that make you captain? I don't want to be made captain that way, but if my hunch is right, he's just about the worst person to leave in charge. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see Administrator Adare. If you have to do some footwork to check into things, you'll be compensated. We should probably talk about something else. I hate going behind the captain's back. I just feel... Uh, I just have a feeling about it. All right. Stay out of trouble now. We'll come back to you. Um, we'll find a weapon shop. Here we go. Jackpot. Selling arms, right? What you selling? Shut the lid. Stop. Okay. Weapons. Four staff. Energy. Baton. Deathblade, which I already have one. Not even six grade for that thing. Force pike. It's a long staff with a fire blade. It is not related to the Force Master by Jedi, though it's a powerful weapon in its own right. Dang, that's pretty cool. It's got stun on it. Mandalorian Ripper Blaster Pistol. Weapons similar to this disruptor belong to Jigger Ray, bounty hunter, who plagued the Republic years ago. 37 Mandalorians were executed for being him until sightings declined. As a type of disruptor, this weapon ignores most personal energy shields. Ooh. Unstoppable. I want it, but it's freaking too good. It's a rock. Blaster pistol. Good lord, these are good weapons. Sith disruptor pistol. Unstoppable. Have most types of blaster upgrades, but it can't be upgraded. Oh, it's fully upgradable, not fully upgraded. Uh huh. So it does two to seven. It's a decent critical threat. Range is all right. Okay. Can you stop? Heavy blaster. Yeah, I mean, those are fun. All scout forcer. Plasma projectile. Hey, energy two to twenty-four. Bolt of plasma energy is the target. Oh, it's a plasma rifle. Difficult to wield except by highly trained marksmen. This plasma projector is also unsuitable for further upgrades. Riot Buster. Ooh. 
50% chance to stun. What? Oh, it is side damage. Repeating blaster rifle. Those are always fun. A war bowcaster. That's fully upgradable. Dang. You know, that thing crits does three times damage. Look at this. Everything else is two times. Arcanian blaster rifle. Four to fifteen. Scope on it. Disrupt the rifle. Warcaster, sonic rifle, ion carbine, and a blaster carbine. Okay, put the armor. The scar hunting mask. The one of these ten grand plus one dex and attack modifier. Where is plus two? Shit. Wisdom plus one, isn't it? Alright. Miscellaneous, what you got? Let me see, Crystal. Dang, Wisdom and Charisma plus one? What? I kind of want that thing. Yeah, let's buy that. Let's buy that slipper. Alright. I'm gonna sell this. So. We don't need any of that then. Give us a little bit of money. I guess we could talk to the administrator. I mean, there's going to be some videos in this series where I see nothing but talking. Lots of talking. Okay, he's the guy. That's paying the guy to anger the problem. All right, let's go talk to Administrator Man. Let's see what effects this game a little bit better than last one. Ladies! A visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. You know, I just noticed. I'm sorry if my fans been a little loud. <laughs> Let's so turn the fan down or it's a little quieter now. Sorry. I'm Spence. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual. But you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? Oh, uh, yeah. I came on that ship, yeah. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. Get to the point. You got a problem with my but ship. The point is that the previous owner of that ship was a very influential Jedi. And Jedi are not as admired here as they once were. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. Oh, I'm looking for a Jedi. Just tell me who you're talking about. Let's just call him Frook. 
We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Like Brooke and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? Make it our first priority. How fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you? You got any work? There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around. Alright. Not much else to do there. I mean, yeah, we know we basically don't need to talk about what's going on with people the Jedi. I don't really trust them because Revan did a stupid thing around here. So, anyways, this looks like a good place to stop. Um, I think next time we're gonna head in here to grab it because it's a douchebag. Actually, no, we're gonna go to Zarin. We're gonna do a Zarin thing first. Because if we get this guy on our side, hey, things are good. So let's move over here and we can save it. You're like, hey, this is where I need to be going. I remind myself. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.